Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how you could create one of these seamless multi-image posts in Instagram. This is really a cool way to get people to really notice your images and I'm going to show you how to do that inside of Photoshop. Now you need Photoshop to do this and follow along. So go ahead and open your image in Photoshop. This is my image for, from one of my cameras. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select my layer. And first of all, you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to crop this. So I'm going to click on the crop tool or press C and I'm just going to crop by 16 by nine. So if I just drag right here, it's going to restrict me to a 16 by nine window. So now I could move my window around. You really don't need to do this, but I, I learned that if I do a 16 by nine crop and I start with that image, I could nicely divide this into three parts. So I'm just gonna press the check mark to crop my image. So now the very next step is with your layer selected, you need to go to view and you need to go to new guide layout. This one right here, press that. Now we need to divide the image to the number of images we want to post on Instagram and stitch those together. So depending on what your image looks like, you could do three, four. In this case, I'm gonna do three. So you wanna change this number to three. So these are the three different images you're gonna get. This one, this one, and this one, which looks good to me. And these two leave empty. We don't want any of these here. So that's your settings and press okay. Now we want to slice these. So we want to go over here to crop and hold it down and we want to create slices. So select a slice tool. That's this tool right here. And then you should see this option here, slices from guides, press that. And there you go, you have three slices. And now we need to save this in a way where Instagram is gonna read it okay. So we'll go over here to file. We'll go to export and we'll just do the save for web, the legacy one here. We'll just do that. And down here, we could change the size to whatever we want. In this case, it's actually really nice because if you divide this by three, each image is gonna be a thousand pixels. That's the width of the image. So I'm gonna leave it at 3000. That's actually good for me. I'm just gonna bring the resolution up to 100 here at the maximum JPEG. So JPEG, I left the settings, again, it depends on the image size you're starting with. So if it's 1920, it's gonna be smaller images and it depends on how many images you're cropping into. So really it doesn't matter. Hopefully you're starting with a high resolution image so you could at least get a size like this one. So next I'm gonna press save and I'm just gonna go ahead and save this to my desktop here. All right, now I'm gonna just minimize Photoshop just to show you what my desktop looks like. So it saves it inside a folder right here images so it should be three different images so if i just press spacebar to preview that's image one two and three so when they get sliced together it should be one seamless image that's going to look like this now let's switch over to instagram so i could show you how to post Okay, so before I get into Instagram, I need to download these images to my phone. So if you have Dropbox or you have AirDrop, any way that you could get your images into your phone, go ahead and do that. In this case, I just chose the simplest option, which is just emailing these three pictures to myself. So I'll go ahead and select these images and I'll go ahead and save them. Okay, now that the images are saved to my photos, I'm gonna go ahead to Instagram and I'm gonna just go to my page and I'm gonna add a picture. Okay, so let's pick our first image, the front of the lens, that's gonna be my first image. So I selected that. Now I'm just gonna double click it to make it small. So this is how it was, now I'm gonna just make it small, double clicked, or you could just pinch it and make it small. Double clicking is usually the safest option. Then you wanna click this, the multi image icon here, this one. Now this is gonna give me three different images to choose. So this is image one, now I'm gonna choose the middle one, that's image two, same thing, I'm gonna double click it to make it small, and then image three, double click to make it small. So one, two, three, and now I could press next. Just like any other image, you could put a filter to it, I'm just gonna skip that, press next. So just to preview here, if you, before you share it, click that image right here, and then you should be able to see a pretty seamless image. Now, if you see those lines that I see right here, those are gonna go away when you post the image. So go ahead and type your caption and put your hashtags and then we'll post it. All right, I'm done with my hashtags. I'm gonna press okay and I'm gonna go ahead and share that. So I'm just gonna jump to my post here. And if I click it, as you can see, if I scroll around, 
it's just one big seamless image so I could basically move around this image any way I want to now if this was four or six images really any number of images it would have gave you the same option to do the same thing go ahead and try this technique with your image and then go ahead and comment with your Instagram I love to check out the pictures that you created using this method Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for a lot more videos just like this one. And I hope to see you on next video. Thanks for watching.